Hi, I'm Joseph Feinstein, founder of Himalayan Bowls, and here are some playing instructions so you can get the most out of your singing bowl experience. Every singing bowl purchased from Himalayan Bowls comes with two playing mallets and a decorative cushion. Let's start with a small singing bowl and I'll show you how to play. The easiest way to play a singing bowl is to strike it with the soft mallet. The wool side of the mallet is only for hitting the bowl. You can also gently hit the bowl with the wood side, which brings out a more metallic and brighter tone. We also include with every bowl a leather wrapped mallet, which is useful for playing the bowl around the rim. You can hit the bowl lightly with the leather as well, and you'll get a slightly different sound than with the wool. Or you can also play the bowl around the rim with the leather mallet to bring out the singing sound. To play the bowl around the rim, you contact the rim of the bowl with the leather and apply constant even pressure all the way around the rim. If you let go of the pressure even a little bit, the sound will fade out very quickly. Go slow and apply even pressure. You can also play around the rim with the wood side, which tends to bring out the higher harmonic overtones. If you play with the wood side, go very slow. If you go too fast, you'll rattle the bowl like that. Not enough pressure or too much speed will produce a rattling sound. So go slow, apply constant even pressure, and be patient as the sound rises and falls. Again, the easiest way to play a bowl is to simply strike it with the wool wrapped mallet. This is how we record the bowls for the website. And when I play it, I'm hitting it right at the rim and from the side. If you hit it from the top, it won't produce much sound. I always keep the singing bowls on their cushion because that protects the bowl, especially the antiques, which are very, very fragile on the bottom. Always use the cushion if you're putting the bowl on a hard surface. Here's a nice antique from our rare and unique collection. A medium-sized bowl like this comes with a larger-sized wool-wrapped mallet, also great for striking the bowl. Again, you can use the wood side of the mallet to play around the rim. We also include with the medium-sized bowls a medium-sized leather mallet. Again, constant even pressure and a slow speed will bring out a beautiful singing sound that you can continue to play. Or I can use the wood end. When you play the singing bowl around the rim, you're causing the metal to vibrate. It moves back and forth. So if you uh, get the metal vibrating a lot, it makes it easy for the uh, stick to rattle against the bowl just by virtue of the vibration. So constant pressure is key. Some bowls aren't that easy to play around the rim, especially very thick bowls, because it's difficult to get all of that metal moving side to side easily. If your singing bowl is difficult to play, again, the preferred method is to simply strike it. Here's a large antique singing bowl. With every large singing bowl, we include one of the large size beaters, which is great for hitting it and getting a full deep sound. We also include a larger leather mallet for playing around the rim. Large bowls vibrate even more, so you have to go slow. Large bowls can also be played by keeping them on the cushion. You can leave it on the table, resting on the cushion, and play it around the rim like this. That should get you started. Remember, it takes practice. Be patient, go slow, apply even pressure, and enjoy the sounds. Thank you and please feel free to contact us with any questions.